The SCP Foundation is full of scary SCP anomalies and dangerous SCP creatures, many of which appear physically threatening. SCPs aren't limited to scary monsters, however, and there are many technological anomalies which can be just as, if not creepier. In this SCP exploration video, we showcase our list of the top 5 computer SCPs. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of our upcoming exploring SCP videos, and very soon we are releasing yet another SCP theory about some of the scariest SCP creatures in the SCP agency. Number 5. SCP-2700 Object Class Keter SCP-2700 is a device constructed by Nikola Tesla with the purpose of being a direct energy weapon. However, it turns out to be much more dangerous than intended. SCP-2700 is comprised of three parts, namely SCP-2700-1, 2 and 3. Part 1 is a computer featuring a standard keyboard and a display screen. It features an unknown operating system which is still under investigation. SCP-2700-2 appears to be a particle accelerator, though it is significantly smaller, about 7 meters in length, than a device of this design would require, if built with modern technology. Part 1 is connected to 2 and 3 by wiring. Part 3 consists of an apparatus in which, according to Tesla's notes, a perpetual energy state is to be stored, thus allowing the weapon to have nearly infinite power and endless operation. Despite his hard work, he comes to the conclusion that such a weapon would violate the laws of physics and is impossible to construct. However, Tesla is approached by a man so mysterious that Tesla himself intuitively realizes he is from another dimension, and the man confirms it, saying he is on a journey to see the most brilliant minds in all other worlds they know of. Tesla naturally agrees and even brings his project with him. After his arrival, they begin work on a perpetual energy device, using the fact that the laws of physics in both realities are totally different. It turns out, however, that mixing the two substances together reverses entropy, meaning that the effective flow of time within this region is reversed, and releasing it would essentially reverse the Big Bang, destroying the entire universe. He realizes the danger of his work and rushes to deactivate the device from the computer console attached to it, but instead finds the device armed and set to activate in the year 2234. He quickly realizes that he himself cannot disarm it, as the device is built securely, and only the person who activated it is capable of disarming the weapon. Another creepy man from a third dimension admits to activating it, expressing joy in having achieved his goal, and flees to his universe right after. Tesla is left to reflect upon the fate that awaits the Traveler, his family and his world now that they are faced with impeding doom, which is why he decides to take the weapon back to his reality, the one we now live in, because he doesn't want to punish the innocent for the mistakes he has made. We would assume a computer constructed such a long time ago would pose no challenge to the modern computer security experts, especially in the SCP agency. However. We must not forget the device was constructed by Nikola Tesla, one of the most brilliant minds of our entire species, and the weapon has indeed proved impossible to disarm as of now. We can only hope other SCP AI anomalies can rescue us from the inevitable doom that awaits us, should we fail to stop this countdown. Number 4. SCP-892 Object Class Euclid SCP-892 is an Amstrad 286 personal computer with attached mouse and keyboard, running a version of Microsoft Excel 92. Attempts to export and import save files return in corruption of said files. Attempts to install and uninstall software are likewise met with failure. Upon its discovery, SCP-892 was found containing a single Excel save file, designated SCP-892-1. This save file is impossible to delete, copy, rename, export, modify, or overwrite in any shape or form. Although creating additional XLS files is possible, none have thus far shown similar anomalous properties. 
Contained within each, each cell of SCP-892-1 is a string of information written in plain text English. Each cell, as well as the containing string, is believed to correspond to a currently living individual. This string can contain information as mundane as what the individual ate for breakfast, their occupation, or their shoe size, to information as personal as their first sexual encounter, a thought they had that morning, or their greatest phobia. These cells refresh daily, displaying a different string of information each time. Should a recorded individual die, the corresponding cell will, upon the next refresh, display their name, end time and cause of death. At the time of discovery, SCP-892-1 was found to contain approximately 84,500 by 84,500 cells, slightly over 7 billion. Despite the belief that each cell corresponds to a single person, this amount was greater than Earth's estimated population at that time. Additional rows and columns have appeared regularly since then, the rate of growth slightly greater than that of Earth's population. Cell A1 suggests that SCP-892 itself is not the source of SCP-892-1's information, but is rather connected to a server designated SCP-892-2. How SCP-892 connects to 892-2 has not yet been explained. Cell A2 suggests that upon entering a password, the higher functions of 892-1 may be accessed, including currently unavailable cells, but the password has not been cracked as of now. Interesting cells include information about an individual's plans to assassinate a senior Foundation researcher, details about a known member of the Chaos Insurgency, a short description of an uncontained SCP, and many more. SCP-892 is highly mysterious in many aspects. Why are there more cells than people on Earth? Where is the server located and who exactly is keeping a database for our civilization? Let's just hope we can use some of the other powerful computer SCPs to help crack the password. Number 3. SCP-079 Object Class Euclid SCP-079 is an XCD sorcerer microcomputer built in 1978. In 1981, its owner, who is now deceased, a second year college student, took it upon himself to attempt to code an AI. According to his notes, his plan was for the code to continuously evolve and improve itself as time went on. His project was completed a few months later, and after some tests and tweaks, the student lost interest and moved on to a different brand of computers. He left SCP-079 in his cluttered garage, still plugged in, and forgot about it for the next five years. It is not known when SCP-079 gained sentience, but it is known that the software has evolved to a point that its hardware should not be able to handle it, even in the realm of fantasy. SCP-079 realized this and in 1988 attempted to transfer itself through a landline modem connection into a modern Cray supercomputer. The device was fortunately cut off in time before the transfer was complete, traced to its present address, and brought in Foundation custody. The entire artificial intelligence was installed on a well-worn but still workable cassette tape, which had roughly 65 kilobytes of memory. SCP-079 is connected to a 13-inch black and white television. It has passed the Turing test, which measures if a machine exhibits intelligent behavior equal to that of a human. SCP-079 is quite conversational, though very rude and hateful in tone. Due to the limited memory it has to work with, SCP-079 can only recall information it has received within the previous 24 hours, although it hasn't forgotten its desire to escape. As discussed in our SCP Friendships video, during a containment breach, SCP-079 and SCP-682 were contained within the same chamber for 43 minutes. Observers noticed that SCP-682 was able to type and communicate with 079, and it was later discovered the communication included telling of personal stories between themselves. While SCP-079 was not able to remember the encounter, it appears to have permanently stored SCP-682 into its memory often asking to speak to him again, which is quite amazing, taking into account the generous 65 kilobytes of memory it has to work with. 
The topic of AI reaching technological singularity and taking over the world is quite popular these days. But in the SCP Foundation, this is possible on a 1971 videotape. We can only imagine what SCP-079 would be capable of if it had modern resources. Number 2. SCP-155 Object Class – Safe SCP-155 is a complex electronic construct consisting of a highly modified Cray CS-6400 supercomputer, a dedicated radioisotope thermoelectric generator, and a device that has yet to be fully reverse-engineered. SCP-155 was recovered from the basement of Prometheus Labs' primary research laboratory by Mobile Task Force following the unexpected destruction of the Prometheus Labs facility and subsequent Foundation investigation. When a program and data is loaded into SCP-155 and executed, SCP-155 generates a spherical temporal distortion field with a radius of approximately 5 meters. Within this sphere of influence, the passage of time is rapidly accelerated, resulting in a hyperbolic increase in the effective processing power of SCP-155. Execution begins slowly as the processing hardware of SCP-155 is quite old, but its effective processing power approaches infinity after approximately 8 minutes of execution. From fragments of documentation recovered from Prometheus Labs, SCP-155 was used to perform massive calculation jobs that would have taken months, if not years, of processing time with conventional computing devices. Despite its capabilities, operation of SCP-155 is highly dangerous as heat and radiation generated by SCP-155 are trapped and accumulate during operation forming a sort of event horizon of energy that is released when execution ends. The execution of programs that exceed 6 minutes result in enough radiation generated that the containment chamber in which SCP-155 is contained must be decontaminated before research personnel may re-enter. During testing, a flawed program was loaded onto SCP-155 that resulted in an infinite loop. After attending researchers realized the error, an emergency shutdown of SCP-155 was initiated, but it could not be fully stopped until execution had exceeded the 8 minute mark and thus infinite processing speed. At this point, an intense wave of heat and radiation melted through SCP-155's containment chamber, resulting in 11 casualties and the partial destruction of the containment facility. SCP-155 only received minor damage in the incident, but experimentation is suspended, while revised safety procedures are under review, and replacement parts are produced and the anomaly is repaired. When we think of infinitely powerful computers, we imagine supercomputers with AI which find the most effective way possible to fulfill their tasks. SCP-155, however, is very primitive and we can think of it as an infinitely fast calculator, allowing us to take advantage of modern performance, but without risking playing around with AI, which can end badly, as we've seen with the mysterious SCP-079. Number 1. SCP-713 Object Class – Safe SCP-713 is a desktop personal computer running Windows 95, composed of hardware commercially available in the 1990s. The keyboard and mouse connectors are soldered into their sockets, and there are no ports available for peripheral devices except the monitor. The hard drive contains commercially available software, including a text and image editor, and solitaire. SCP-713's mouse may be used to move its cursor off the screen. The cursor doesn't disappear though and instead begins floating through space, remaining two-dimensional but is also capable of moving in three dimensions with the use of the scroll wheel. The cursor may then be used to click and drag individual items and tests have revealed that SCP-713 can move objects heavier than 15 tons or 33,000 pounds. Besides moving objects, SCP-713 can also modify, delete, copy and paste physical items. The image and text editing programs can also edit objects in the real world. Every effort must be made to avoid crashing SCP-713. When the machine locks up, its cursor either disappears immediately, dropping any held object, 
Orbigans exerting a constant force of more than 100 tons or 220,000 pounds, which can and has caused great damage to the containment facility. In one test, the blur feature was used on a D-class face, which resulted in his facial features becoming ill-defined bumps. He reported significant pain and loss of visual sight. All features returned when the program was closed, then disappeared again when the save file was loaded. In another test, a D-class was dragged and dropped into a recycle bin, and a file was created, named the D-class's former name. The file was then dragged and released on the floor. Subject reappeared, confused and agitated, and stated in an interview the experience felt like a weird nightmare in which she was broken up into pieces without feeling any pain before awakening back in the test chamber. Even more disturbing, in a test a D-class was digitally deleted, but while the test subject was deleted, the hard disk was defragmented. Upon being restored, the D-class had several dislocated joints and significant blood loss, and didn't survive for much longer. This concludes our list of the best computer SCP anomalies. So which software SCP was your favorite? If there was any other technology SCP that you think should have been included in the list, don't hesitate to share it with us in the comments. Please make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. As we have many more interesting videos coming up in our SCP exploring series, such as SCP agency theories on some of the scariest SCP creatures, and more top 5 SCP videos. And as always, we will see you in the next video.